prophet, who is the same as the messenger, was asked to tell the, the kafirun, the disbelievers, the rejectors, Kul ya al kafirun, oh you the disbelievers, right? The reason why he tagged them by that day because they, they, that, they, that is what they are, right? So that they, that's deep tagging. It's not an insult. Uh, it's never an insult. Uh, it is a description of a, of a person's personality or character or what the person is actually practicing. That is what makes you define. That's why in the Quran, we have allocations to believers, Mubidu. We have allocations to Muslimun. We have allocations to Kafirun, Munafikun, uh, Zwalibun, Hasidun. Like it goes on and on. It's never an insult. Sometimes people mistaken me by Bashraib, the correctional officer, to say that I'm insulting people. Uh, well, you might take it as an insult, but I don't insult people. I describe people. I describe what they do and who they are. If you see me calling other people mushriks, I'm not, I'm not insulting you. <laughs> what is the definition of a mushrik? A mushrik is somebody who does shirk. He associates something with something he doesn't have permission to do. That is a mushrik. So when I call other people mushriks, I can justify it. That's why when I call them out for dialogue, they are scared to step forward. I can prove to you why you are a mushrik. The reason is when somebody goes to steal and he's caught and he's a regular criminal, what is the name for it? They call him a thief. Is it an insult? No. Why is he called a thief? Because he steals regularly and he now finally has been caught. So when he's caught, they tell him, oh, so you are the guy who has been stealing our money here. So you are the thief. It's never an insult. You are a mushrik and like you, you have earned it. So own it. <laughs> you, you said Islam cannot be practiced without adding hadith, the garbage hadith you have invented. That's what you said. So that becomes a mushrik because to you, something has to be pertinent, right? To the Islam of God before you can be satisfied when the name of god alone is called you don't like it you feel disgust quran chapter 39 verse 45 you are disgusted by it so you in turn become a mushrik i don't care whether you call yourself a sunni shia tijaniya uh, call yourself islamia whatever you want but so far as your character the definition of what you represent every intellectual person can categorize you it's, it's as simple as it is. It's just like how God made us different colors on earth, right? And different races and nationalities and whatever. Even with the birds, same thing. We have different colors. Even with the, 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 you know, the cats, uh, I would say uh, you go among the cat animals, we have the tiger, we have the, uh, chip, uh, what, what do you call it? Uh, panther, leopard. They are all different colors. Right? There's a reason why God made us that, that so that you can define to, in order to be able to allocate a person or uh, an entity so that people would know, okay, this is the one you're talking about. Right? So I don't see why when people, of course, people hate the truth. That's what the Quran says. Quran chapter 43, verse 78. We have brought you the truth, but most of you hate the truth. So eventually, people don't like you to tell them things at, as they are. Right? And allowed, the other day I was telling some of my, my close uh, brothers uh, here, here where, where I'm based now. Uh, I was just telling them, the human being hates simplicity. By nature, as a human being, we hate simplicity. What is simple, we don't like it. Even education-wise, academically, or even when it comes to entertainment, even when it comes to competition, everything. Human being hates simplicity. We want things to be you know, tough, like to be, to be difficult. Then when we get the victory, then we feel excited. Then we feel like, oh, I've earned it because I work harder for it. That's why successful people will tell you how much of, or how far they've gone throughout their journey to become successful. They, they earned it. So they feel, you see the pride in them. The human being hates simplicity. God knowing this weakness, he made things simple for you. But you, the human being, arrogantly, you said, no. And look at this guy. He, they want Islam to be simple. Uh, they just said, instead of five salats, they, they, they want it to be, are you a fool? 
Are you not the same people who describe the hadith that the prophet went to take 50 prayers and it was negotiated to become five prayers? Are you dumb? So now if I'm telling you the truth of what God says in his own book, then I say, hey, it's three. You are like, oh, look at these people. They want Islam to be simple. They are trimming it to three. So if I say you are a fool, that's the definition of a fool. Who is a fool? A fool is someone who lacks good judgment. 